Hello everyone and welcome back. So I finally started getting into a lot of large size battles so hopefully more of my commentary uh, will have those. So basically I sort of took the same philosophy of a medium battle but just increased everybody's proportion. Uh, so let's look at my setup. I'm actually going to speed up a little bit so they get a little more spread out uh, so I can have a better view of everyone. Oh that might be the best I get. Okay so my missile corps, uh, this is again featuring my missile corps army so five bow warrior monks now including a veteran. Um, let's see, my melee, still love that Naginata Warrior Monk. Uh, two or three Katana Samurai. Three, no, two Katana Samurai and a Katana Hero. And then two Lone Swords. My cavalry is still just the one Yardi Cavalry. And uh, much to my surprise in this battle, this guy had basically a very similar setup. Five Bow Warrior Monks making up his Missile core. Uh, Nodachi Samurai and a Katana Samurai, both four and five star veterans. And then three Katana Samurai and then two Yardi Cavalry off here. Uh, a few more units will make a very important showing later on. So, uh, you know, I don't get to often say this, but it ended up being my Yari Samurai that won this battle. Oh, did I not mention them? I guess I should. Two four-star Yari Samurai who end up winning this battle for me. Uh, so here we go. I started off, you think, well, you know, you have this archery dojo and you have a missile core. Why don't you capture the archery dojo? Uh, two reasons. One, it's pretty sure that the other guy is going to start on the side with two buildings. Uh, and so it, there'll be a fight for it, and probably nobody's going to capture it. But two, uh, choke points are really good for missile cores. Uh, because if you can hold down their infantry and their cavalry in this nice little choke point, then your bows will be free to just hammer the enemy general or their units. So I wanted to attack uh, from across that choke point, because that'd be really, really good for me. So I figured, well, he's going to start on the side with two buildings. So I'll just take the side with one. And also, luckily for me, it has the workshop, which is the best capturable building in general. If you had a missile core, I'd say the archery dojo is the most important, but uh, workshop is always a great choice. So here we go. Uh, I guess I should mention it. He will have two great guards coming out in ambush right at the end of the battle. So uh, I guess I'll mention those two units. I, of course, wasn't planning for it because it looked like his army was pretty full, right? I mean, five katanas, five bows, two yari. Uh, didn't realize a big chunk of money was missing. And, of course, it was going to be great guards. So here we go. I'll speed it up because we're just capturing buildings at this point. Uh, he's going to get two of them, which his uh, sword dojo is going gonna, is gonna to nullify my defense bonus in melee, but I will still have the ranged uh, defense buff. So here are my katana heroes. I actually made them a different color. I wonder how it turned out. Well, it turned out okay, I guess. Pink mons a little fruity, but whatever. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to start skirmishing. Like I said, most people, that was wacky, most people don't individually order their ranged units, and I don't think he did either. You have a missile core, you should be paying a lot of attention to where your missiles are firing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have each bow warrior monk attack an individual bow warrior monk, one for one. He's going to send all his bow warrior monks to attack one of mine. So by the time the infantry lines clash, I will have one bow warrior monk that's basically annihilated, but the other four are going to be in good condition. And meanwhile, all of his are going to be at about half strength. So I think I had the superior tactics there. I'd rather have fo four full strength bow warrior monks than five at half strength. So I'm just going to start tearing into his bows here. He has the archery dojo, but I have the production building. I also have the, uh, the plus five um, to reload skill officer. So it ends up all kind of evening out. We have a pretty evenly matched range battle. We both use our fire attacks right off the bat. Maybe not a good idea. Maybe should have saved it, but... You know, whatever. It's just going to be a nice little skirmish. So I'm going to pull up my infantry right behind my bows, and I'm going to be ready to move. I've detached my spears, and I'm going to be using them uh, to guard this flank against these two cavalry. See, look, keeping them in wedge formation. I wouldn't recommend doing that, you know? It's just, it lowers their maneuverability, and that's going to come back to bite them, because what I'm going to do is think, well, his, his infantry is, you know, not quite there yet. I could run up with my cavalry and just hammer his bows. You know, take out his core, why not? Have a nice little aggressive cavalry action. And so he's going to be slow to react. He can't maneuver as well with that uh, wedge formation. So I'm going to run up right up this hill and just hit right in the middle of his bows. And see, he's turning really slowly because of that wedge formation. Don't keep him in wedge formation by default. Uh, if it was automatically the best in everything, it wouldn't even be toggleable. It would just be on by default. It's a situational thing, so don't do that. Uh, so I'm just going to hammer his bows, and they're all going to start wavering. That was a nice charge. Uh, I've really hurt his bow warrior monks. Meanwhile, four of them on my side are at full strength, except one, which is, I 
think it has six men left at this point. Two, two men left at this point. So that one takes the sacrifice and uh, takes the arrows for everybody else, and that'll give a nice screen for my infantry. So now they're going to advance under no missile fire because my cavalry has shut them down. That's why I attack so early with my infantry. Uh, use that cavalry as a screen to absorb the arrows. So my guys are going to take basically no casualties from the missile units. Uh, the Yari are going to be moving up on the flank to block the Yari cavalry. Now we're going to have a nice little melee battle here. Uh, he's got the downhill charge effect, but I have a katana hero, which is going to be huge. And so he's going to be able to just tank this whole side. He's going to obliterate these Nodachis. And uh, meanwhile, the warrior monks are just going to be laying into him because his bows are extremely hurt. They're not going to be able to do very much at all. Because look, this one's a 22, uh, this one's at 6, this one's a 25, and some of them have shattered. Yeah, there goes one. Uh, oh, is that a second one? Yep. So he only has three units, and they're all down to about a third strength. So his bows are basically gone. That's when I decided to move up my bow warrior monks to start hitting his general. Uh, it didn't really work, because I, I had them all selected, and it made him shoot at other units, I think. So eventually I individually ordered them to all shoot at his general. But his general was a freaking tank. Uh, you'll just you'll watch this guy fight. He'll be in the melee the whole battle, and he just won't freaking die. I don't get it. Uh, I guess he must have had like a legendary armor drop or something, because he just will not die. I mean, my general has full defensive upgrades from the skill tree, and he still dies quick enough. Look, he's already lost two men. But, uh, so I don't know how some people's generals are just really, really strong. Maybe somebody can enlighten me. But uh, I'm going to block his charge pretty well with my uh, Yari Samurai. They use their advanced rapidly ability, and one of them has a speed upgrade. You know, think about uh, your veterans with your spears and what kind of upgrades they should get. Defense is always good, and I've upgraded them both with full defense. But after that, I thought, well, what are they? Anti-cavalry units, right? So I started upgrading them with speed so they can cut off charges easier. And it kind of catches people off guard when you see a spear sprinting across and cutting off your uh, cavalry. So I'm going to bring around a Katana Samurai to flank, but they're going to get hit by a Yari, but not too hard. Yari, Sam Yari cavalry are only really good at the charge. Standing a fight, they're not. So just because I blocked that charge, that's really going to hurt them. But that's when he brings out these two great guards. This is why I say the Yari uh, Samurai saved this battle for me, because that's going to be my only hope against those great guards. So the bows are still shooting. Uh, into his mass. I'm just cutting him down pretty well despite the downhill charge. Uh, my katanas are mostly veterans and plus I have this warrior monk so we're gonna do a pretty good job cutting them down. That's when he's gonna bring his general into melee and he just will not die. I'm fighting this general the whole battle. I have him surrounded by four or five units and he just won't die. It's crazy. And he's gonna bring his great guard too and that's when I know my Yari Samurai are gonna have to get to his great guard to win this battle. But uh, he does a good job of blocking my Yari Samurai with his Yari Cavalry. Use him as a sacrifice, and good work. Again, I'm trying to get my Bow Warrior Monks to shoot into these, this Cavalry. I don't need to be hitting these melee units, but it just... There we go. I think I finally started to get him to work. Let's see. My Katana Hero is in pretty good shape. Uh, he's still 18 men, so he's okay. And this Ashigaru is doing pretty good. We are both hammering a uh, Yari Cavalry and uh, Katana Samurai, plus what's left of his Bow Warrior Monks. So thankfully for me, he didn't flank at all with his cavalry. He just ran him right into the battle. If he maybe had flanked him and gotten off a good charge, uh, that could have been very bad for me. But he just run him, runs him right into the battle here. So I'm just praying that his Yari cavalry shatters very soon so my Yari samurai can join the battle. Uh, he's going to run over and start focusing on my katana hero. Good move, though, because that katana hero is dangerous. I mean, he's been tanking this whole side with just a lone sword Ashigaru to support him, and he still has over half his men. See, look at this. His general is going to come into melee here, and that's when his Yari cavalry is going to shatter. And I'm going to bring my Yari samurai over to attack his general. Look, he's only lost one man so far. It's crazy. Some people have really strong generals. That's the combat tree for you. That's kind of what I'm going down, but I didn't realize generals could be that strong. It's just insane how much damage he can take. Look, he's only lost two men. I'm going to bonsai with my general and charge him in too. Uh, just because I want him to die, but I end up pulling him back pretty soon because of the great guard. The bows are moving up, but they're running out of ammunition. I've never ran out of ammunition before until this battle. I think all my monks ran out of ammo. So my Yari Spears, uh, Yari Samurai, are going to be flanking around, trying to hit the cavalry from the rear. My general will be pulled out soon. There's wavering all over, both my men and his. Uh, let's check out my Katana Hero. He's only down to eight men now. He's going to uh, see my advance and meet my Bow Warrior monks. A pretty good move to kind of neutralize them. My infantry is just wrecked right now. I just have this lone sword, uh, this katana, both below half strength. This katana here only has eight men. 
everybody else has kind of shattered or been obliterated. So let's look at his great guard, but I'm doing pretty good. His great guards are both down to half strength. Uh, just surround that cavalry. Even great guard will get cut down in melee if you can just surround him and just pound into him. Meanwhile, my Yari Samurai are trying to kill his avatar. He still has 16 men left in this unit. He's going to be swarmed by spears. Though he probably has the bonus against spears, which is why I wasn't just massacring him with the Yari Samurai. But still, it's just crazy how much damage this guy takes. And uh, he's just going to turn into a slugfest here. No tactics. Uh, there's just not much left to do. But warrior monks are moving up. I guess I had kind of forgotten about him. But uh, his great guard is going to get a nice charge into him. I'm just going to try and swarm his units. Kill them as fast as possible. Because the great guard are down to 20 and 25 men. Uh, Katana Samurai is still left. Along with two bow warrior monks. And it's just it's just a melee slugfest. I mean, what can I say about this? This is just kill everybody as fast as possible. But I have to be very careful to guard my general. Make sure he doesn't die. Because if he dies, this is over. I have to kill his first. Uh, look, he still has 11 men left in this unit. Look at him just getting swarmed. It still has 11 men. Uh, did he shatter? No, he's still there. Still 10 men. Uh, my bows are getting ripped up. That's okay. They're just going to buy time. No big deal. That's my katana hero. Yep, there's the katana hero. He has come up, and the katana hero is now attacking the avatar, too. We just need to kill that avatar. It's so close. Look, bow warrior monks are still fighting. One has 17 and one has 4, and they're still here. Shows you their morale. Uh, mine don't do quite as well, but I guess because they were out of the radius. So his great guard is going to come join the battle now. But luckily, I kind of have a, a Yari Samurai here between them and my general. That's when I pulled out my general, thinking that uh, his, you know, his great guard are going to probably kill my general if they stay in for long melee. Just don't want to risk it at this point. And there we go. Was that the shattering? Let me see. I'm trying to find one of his. Yep, his avatar is shattered, so this battle's pretty well in my favor. Now I, I have the katana hero uh, who has five men left. I have this katana samurai with 25 and then two four-star yari samurai against two cavalry units and a katana unit of four men. So my general's going to come over and hit these bows, try and get them to rout, but I quickly pulled back thinking, well, why risk it at this point? So basically, veteran yari samurai versus great guard. Uh, my samurai are going to win. The battle's in my control now. And that's when they're going to shatter. Uh, one of them has, one of them is wavering. These katanas still fighting. They must have morale upgrades on them. They're five stars, so it's very possible. And uh, it's just going to come down to this last slugfest. So uh, my underappreciated Yari are going to be the ones who saved this battle. If I did not have them, uh, this would have been lost because his great guard would have come in at the crucial moment and just tore me up. So uh, thanks a lot, Yari Samurai. You know, I, I don't give you enough love. And uh, my clan has spear specialization, and I have that reduced casualties. So I really like to buff them up and have a couple of elite spear units that could really deal with the cavalry well. So uh, that was a big missile versus missile battle. Uh, hope it was interesting, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody.